guys, what's up? I just finished recording the first video of two that I'm gonna record today. So, you're gonna see two different types of intros today. This is one that I recorded later on in today. Um, one, where I said I'm going to be recording a what's in my bag commuter edition. And another one, where you see how I get this beautiful glam face that has expired foundation on it that I didn't know that was expired. And Jesus Christ, dogs! Where are you barking? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm trying to get this foundation off my face before I start breaking up like a teenager for the first time in like six years. So yeah, enjoy the lovely intro of me just waking up in the morning before I tame the beast even though right now it doesn't look tame because I just had to yell at the dogs. And let me know if you want to see a video on how I tame the beast in the morning. Because as y'all saw in my first video, my hair is super curly. Uh, but right now, well not super curly, really wavy. But right now... It's really straight. Also, did I say two videos today? My computer takes a long time to upload one. So it might be one video today, one video tomorrow. We shall see. So anyway, enjoy either two videos on Monday or one video on Monday, one video on Tuesday. One makeup video, one normal video. Yay for post ferret glam. Woo! Hopefully this stays. Ah! <laughs> so, when I commute in the morning, if I get up at 5, 6, 4.35 in the morning for my internship or even school, and I gotta be there at 8, and I decide I want to do my makeup, I usually go for um, very minimal because, you know, I usually go from work straight, or from school straight to work. So I thought, also, you like my day's piercing? Haha. <laughs> Many things you don't know about me yet. So I thought for my little video talking about commuter and work suit in life and you know eventually the point of this video what's in my bag why not add a little um mini makeup tutorial to add to the millions see what y'all like if y'all like my little makeup tutorial let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do more even though I'm broke and y'all might be seeing a lot of expired makeup. Well, it's not mostly ex expired. A lot of the liquids might be, but a lot of the powders are still good because I only bought them like last year. And most of them have 24 months to expiry. But you won't be seeing the powders today. What I'll be using today is these two. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place mascara in shade 2-in-1 Desert Beige, which I think is still my shade, 99% sure, and I've worn this in photos still, and it's still my shade. The um, Benefit um, Professional Matte Rescue, this let me see, is it still good? It says 12 months, and I forgot when I bought this. Yeah, this still looks good. It's not separated. That's good. And the Hard Candy um, Color Correct Expert Palette. And I got this from Walmart. Forgot how much it was. It's still there, though, so if you want to get it. And um, this has an 18th month after opening. And... I also got this last year, so this should still be good. So yeah. And then these two. Beauty Blender and 
Real Technique sponge. So yeah. Crap, I forgot to wet these. Ow. Hopefully I'll wet them. All right, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Forgive the stomach. See the reason wait, y'all. Real YouTube beauty viewer here. Crayola K here. Who knows, maybe y'all like this better. The goal, shit, <laughs> forgive the language. The goal, eh, the goal for my YouTube channel, I called it Crayola K because in my degree program for um, education, I am a, um, first I'm gonna go in with the Benefit for poor professional at rescue, but anyway, for the education program that I am in, I am a middle school education major, and I'm concentrating in um, English and social studies, all over the face, and neck, just all over. I'm not gonna go so much near the ears, cause these piercings, even these, even though I've had them since I was like six. I just kind of reopened them, and I don't want to put foundation on them just yet. Oh, I forgot my brow tool. Um, this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Benefit again. So, um, anyway. Um, basically, along with, like, makeup, vlogs general things talking about life, what time is it? I, um, want to do the eventual goal for my channel after I graduate is to make videos talking about what life is like as a middle school teacher because whenever I tell people in life that I'm going to be a middle school teacher, after I do my, found my primer in the morning, I'll go in with my, um, my hard candy and I will just look and see what he covered up so last night I was up for like 12 hours today is Monday when I'm recording this and I didn't actually go to class today hence why I'm recording this on an actual Monday and um finished a thing that I needed to do and I ended up not going to um, class but I've never missed a class, so it's fine. But um, I'll just look and see what I need to do. So if I were going like on a Wednesday and I still had like these dark circles and stuff, I would put a little bit under my eyes. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then wipe off my finger, like right under my camera. I have like a little napkin. And then I see I have a little bit of like a darkness under my lip. So I cover that. And then a little bit over my eye. I'm not doing any kind of eyeshadow because that's why I'm covering that up today. Normally that'd be covered up with eyeshadow primer and stuff. Um, so that's yellow. Yellow corrects the dark circles. And then red. There's the little bumps popping up my chin, so I'll go ahead and cover those up. Mostly stress bumps and stuff. Now, when I was younger, I used to, like, cover this whole red stuff under my cheeks. But, um, I don't do that anymore because the Estee Lauder foundation I have just covers that anyway. And whenever I cover it up, just, like, forgetting, it, like, totally, like, wipes out my face. So, um, I don't do that anymore. Now, let's see. Any more little spots? I need to cover. Not that I can see. <sighs> College is stressful, y'all. I love my degree. Like, I'm working with middle school students. I know it's what um, I meant to do. But with any college degree, people, they look at me, they're like, oh, you're an education major, it's easy. No, it's not. If you have friends in college, 
and their education majors, especially. Because we get this a lot. I don't see any other education or any other degree get this. Except maybe like psychology. Because people are like, oh, you just sit and talk to people. But anyway, if you have friends that are education majors, don't go up and be like, oh, so you just sit and cut out stuff all day? We will literally freak out. Because we, and then I'll go and I'll um, buff it out with the real technique sponge, as you can see. I don't really use this for um my foundation. I like the actual Beauty Blender more for, for that foundation. This I like more because this, I know this, when I use this after a cream color corrector, it kind of spreads a color corrector in with the foundation. And I like buffing out the actual color corrector before I put the foundation on. Am I doing this right? Beauty gurus and YouTube, help me. Take me under your wing. Mama Jeffrey, I have been watching you forever. I remember the hairline surgery. Help me out. I am a broke college student. Anyway, so like I was talking about the goal for this too, along with like videos, like talking about life and stuff, is to show y'all what life's really like as a middle school teacher. Because I wanted to spell some rumors, if you know what I'm saying. So now, but that's done. Oh, I already don't look dead. Or like university took four years of my soul. So anyway, now I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder. Does this have the period after opening on here? Yeah, 24 months, so this is still fine. I think I might need a new one soon, so I think I might go get another one, eventually. Or maybe if Estee Lauder sees this and likes me, he will send me one. I don't mind the PR packaging. This day lot is pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I like about this foundation is that a little goes a long way. See, am I doing this right? I think I am. And see, I've tried this with so many brushes but I can never find brushes that work with this type of a liquid because this is like a liquid that starts out very kind of full coverage but then it kind of shears out throughout the day I forgot my setting spray oh well I'll walk and go get it it's my first beauty video, I don't really mind. Like I said, unless this takes off and people really rave over the beauty part, I don't really mind. And normally with this, with me not talking, this usually only takes like, at most, five minutes. It's only taking longer because I'm rambling and when I talk I talk a lot did I put the foundation down my neck I don't remember I didn't but anyway on the face it goes good good around there make sure all places they cover put the corrector are all good and set in and then, I also really haven't found a powder that I really like. Please don't say I got this on the shirt. Because I'm planning on actually wearing it to work today. Um, but, again, you're probably not supposed to do this with beauty blender, but you know. Shoot. Um, 
That's a lot. You know, but it's okay. I'll probably go down my chest or something. Yep. Make it all seamless. Ooh, I don't know. This is still my shade. Neither of that. Let me turn this way. This might be. On my chest? The little. Whatever. What do you know? It's fine. I should be working, but I'm making a YouTube video. Tis the life of a college student. Trying to have a hobby. Okay, but this cut foundation does really well, build well, and I believe they do have a decent shade range. So, if you're looking for a good buildable foundation that isn't super heavy, like this doesn't feel really sticky, and it doesn't feel really heavy in the summer, I would totally go for the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. It's really nice. Yeah, again, excuse the stomach. Okay, now we're walking back to my room. Because I just realized. I forgot that corner of my eye. I just realized that um, I also forgot a lip. So. I think today we're gonna go with like not red. I might go with the Jeffrey lip today. I'm not sure. I want like a cute moment. I have a lot of lip colors. Red's like my favorite one, so I might do a red. <laughs> It's like a pink, purple, can't really do that one. Actually, this Marc Jacobs moment's really cute. They're like, wow, she has Marc Jacobs. I got it from a Nipsey bag. Let me go. Go ahead and get that setting spray while I'm in here. <laughs> Two for one. So, while I'm in here doing this, uh, I need a better light. Y'all need to recommend me, y'all people who do beauty on y'all's channels and normally good cheap starting ring lights oh no honey this ain't my shade <laughs> and i've been using a tanning booth for a little bit too this ain't my shade but it's dark honey well i mean not really mm -hmm. it'll be fine for the video because all y'all are really gonna see is my face so yeah and I'm probably going to take it off before work anyway. Ah! This might be expired, y'all. I forgot when I bought it. Oh, well. Like I said, only for the video. Let me use this setting spray. This is the Urban Decay Chill setting spray. Jeffrey got me using a ton. Because at the moment, I can't tell if this is expired. I can't tell if this is expired or not. It didn't smell funny. But the way it feels under my eyes doesn't feel like it did before. 
It's kind of sticky. Oh well. It doesn't burn or anything, so I think I'm in the clear. On the brows. Yeah, like I said. This is probably going to be the longest part of the video, honestly. Freaking makeup tutorial and all what's in my bag video. But hey, this is a commuter edition and these would all be in my bag, so I'm just showing you how I use them. Also, technically, I'm left-handed, but I think I'm kind of ambidextrous when it comes to certain things. Because, like, I don't need to use my left hand to do my makeup. I can use my right hand. So that's nice. Yeah. What do I call this look? I call this my back from the dead stayed up all night doing something I should have been doing for the past two months look now the last thing I do my lips this is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in kiss kiss bang bang in the Lamarck lip cream this is really cute I actually really liked it <laughs> and some people they'll probably look at me and be like um you don't use uh, a line lip liner with a cream lipstick what are you doing um I've actually never even when I started first doing my makeup I've never had issues with cream lipsticks moving on my lips the only lipsticks I've actually ever had issues with moving on my lips are mattes so it's actually funny I will use except on certain formulas I will use lip liners for certain formulas of matte lipsticks but I won't use lip liners for cream lipsticks like this one and now for the final step So some days I will use um, eyeshadow, but this is just a quick, I'm going to school and I feel like I look dead, so um, I'm just going to use eye mascara. So I usually use two different types. So the first one I'm using is a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I usually layer with this one first because this one's kind of like, this one's full. And it like 
got some definition. And then, ah, my contacts are moving a little bit. And then I'll follow up with the other one. Which is actually funny because these brands were feuding for a little bit. And I think they might still be a little bit. Uh, please don't, thank you. Okay, cool. I hate it. Don't you hate it when you have long hair and you don't get, and you realize you have mascara on it and just goes all down your foundation. I hate it. Alright. Following that up with the Tarte mascara. Just add a little more definition. Because I've always been a really big fan of really full top lashes. Hi. My eye looks really weird. See, look, who needs false lashes, guys? Not me. Even though I probably should use them to avoid getting mascara on my eyes like an amateur. This is the completed look. Time to do setting spray. If there's even any more. Let's see if I can get a Jeffrey angle. There's no more. <laughs> so anyway, this is the completed normally without me rambling and talking about the channel and stuff like that. Ten minute look. Like I said, you can do this in half the time if you're not talking like about a million things like I am. So yeah, thank you for watching. I said this was going to turn into a what's in my bag commuter edition, but I think y'all just might get two videos today. And this is going to turn into two videos. Ooh, this lights. I like it. So yeah. Will the makeup be on in the next video? We shall see. Probably not, because I already see places where it's starting to come off because this foundation is probably expired and it's probably going to make my face break out. So yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next video. Crayola out.